G'day guys, well it's Saturday today and I've just been cutting up kitchen sinks all day today so I'll show you those in a minute. So these are the ones I've got left guys, still haven't got to this one yet. A little bit of stainless steel over here and also this stuff here I've got to cut up so we'll cut that up probably tomorrow and Monday and then that's it basically. And then just working on this stuff here guys, copper, those, I haven't done those yet and we'll sort out all this stuff during the week so we'll take you to the stainless so steel the section stainless guys. steel sinks fellas that we've um, cut up today so i finished finish for the day and we've got more stainless steel over here just over here fellas and so there's three containers just down here that one that one and that one there so it's going really well guys so the trailer's going to be chock a block full also take this stainless steel apart as well. We'll take that apart probably uh, so Monday. We'll on this probably in the next two days. Get all this done by Monday and this. And then come Monday or Tuesday. This is going to be the time to sinning one guys. It shouldn't take too long. Only should take a couple of days. Just go for all this stuff. Sort it all out. Put like lead in one bucket. Aluminium in another bucket. Uh, brass in another one. Copper and so forth so gonna make some good money this week I hope guys so just sort out the stuff that I want to um, sell for uh, steampunk and stuff I want to scrap I'm gonna run over these so I've got a new battery for my Land Cruiser now so we'll do that to 8.8 8. and I've just taken apart all of those um, fly, screens, fly screens for the aluminium so doing not too bad guys just going about 12.30 in the afternoon so what I'm going to do today guys is do these chairs do all this stuff here um, there's a couple of pieces of aluminium here hopefully I can do those bikes um, take apart these Venetian blinds and then finish off these kitchen sinks then after that guys um, we'll start on the really time consuming task and that is working on these so as I've mentioned before guys it's full of uh, brass bits of um, these old pieces of um, light globes so I always pick these up out the old rubbish dumps if I come across them they're probably made out of brass too but these ones here I'll just chuck to one side and I might, might probably do those next time because they're going to be time consuming so I'll have a separate bin for those stuff like that I'll save for the next trip copper wire I've got a couple of um, things down here guys so I'll be chucking copper wire in one brass in that one aluminium in this one and normal pieces of copper in that one and also pieces of lead in this one so and yeah so this is going to be very time consuming guys so this is what I'm going to be working on on Tuesday tomorrow Wednesday and Thursday and then I'll be heading up to the scrap yard probably on Friday if all goes well so I've got a big container full of um, all old rubbish dump finds there piece of brass, aluminium, uh, stainless and so forth, this one and also this one here guys so it's all pieces of lead and brass and all that, I won't be scrapping the good stuff like this is an old salt and pepper shaker so be very careful what I'm scrapping guys, just little pieces of brass, aluminium like that and so forth, lids so anyway guys, I'll keep going and got to get this done as soon as I can that way I can focus on the next two or three days on doing this stuff and I'm also just about to fill up this with water and that one there because it's full of dust and it'll be a lot easier and also just for the asbestos just in case there's any asbestos in there which there is um, just to save breathing in that dust and so forth all right guys we'll keep, keep going Not that confident I can get it all done guys, so we'll see how we go, and hopefully we can, but I've still got a lot more of this type of stuff um, stored at a mate's farm. Thank <laughs> you. 
separating some stainless steel guys from a bit of iron. That's done. I always want to show you a no-nonsense way of s scrapping a bicycle tyre, or in, in this case I think it's a golf buggy tyre, in a really quick and easy way. Put that screwdriver there fellas, because obviously that's the normal way on how most people take these tubes off, but when you're scrapping it I'll show you a really easy way. So what I'm going to do is instead of cutting one, what I have been doing, one across there, uh, we're going to do two. That way this piece will come out and you can just easily take off that tire ring. So we'll do it here, next in between the two tubes, or the tube there. We'll cut one in there, and we'll cut another one in here, and then we'll show you how easy it is. with an angle grinder but anyway it's quick and easy just a little bit more so I've done the rub a bit here so now what I'm doing is just cutting across this piece of cast aluminium on both sides in between the valve so that's it guys easy Easy as chips. Just going through some of my brass I had in a bucket, guys. So stuff like this, I'm going to keep. Probably cut that little bit off there. Could sell that as steampunk, guys. That's you know, it'd be nice, like if someone wanted to make a ship, an old warship or something. Nice little chimney or an air vent, and stuff like this, guys. You know, it's missing a little piece, but it's perfectly round. Nice piece of brass. So stuff like that. I'll be putting to one side. It's going to be hard, guys. I've got to be very careful. Here's another thing, because I, I don't want to be, you know, wasting time looking at stuff. This is another one. Unfortunately, it's not marked. It's an old vintage headlight, so I'll put that to one side for sell, you know, find out what type of vehicle it belongs to, and we'll sell that. Well, once again, anyone could use an artist for, like, a picture frame or something. It's too good to scrap that kind of stuff, guys. So we'll keep going. Now coming to the pain the pain the arse stuff, guys. This big, heavy cast aluminium light. Like the one just through there. Like sport a heap of these. I reckon they're probably about 50. I don't know, guys. I only got about four here. The others are still attached to the metal pile at my scrap pile. But anyway, I think I might have worked out a easy way to get rid of this plastic and stuff, guys. Hit it with a bloody hammer. So here goes. Ice coffees, no water. I'm about to have a nice drink of water in a minute. Well, that's looking good. Shit, that weighs heaps, guys. About 10 kilos. I'm thinking possibly these are brass. So I scored a heap of brass. I use bra a lot of brass on the power lines. And my magnet. Yep. Oh, that's awesome guys, it's all non-magnetic, even these things, so it might be to get away with that. Alright guys, we'll take this off and... Also scored out of one of these, a nice little ceramic, where the light goes in, so... A nice little candle hold holder that would. So I'll put those on the side. only magnetic piece, that little white square piece of metal. And I just lift it up and I want it so bloody heavy. It's got a little copper motor in it. Right there guys, so that's an awesome score. 
put that in my scrap bucket and that's more or less it guys I've just got to cut this off here that and that's it guys I think it's all over yep more or less it I'm just gonna leave those nuts there because they're well it's the end of the day them. and this is everything I managed to do today so it doesn't look much but it took most of the day um, so especially cutting up all these pieces of brass and so forth so did not too bad guys so I haven't really got much to do just these kitchen sinks here that'll only take about probably 10-15 minutes to do these ones just cut the backs off down there for an angle grinder here in a square and they'll come straight out and we'll chuck those in the brass section also these so it won't take too long guys still haven't managed to do the bikes but anyway we'll do, I'm leaving the worst to last guys aluminium chair guys I did one of them today still haven't done this one the um, stainless steel gas burner uh, more copper in, or brass in here guys so I've been cutting up this type of stuff it's really heavy sorting out a few things here guys this, that shouldn't be in there just some copper wire cut up as well a little bit of copper tubing <clears throat> and getting a few things ready for tomorrow guys so a few things here that I'm not going to scrap so I'm going to find quite a bit of stuff that I don't really want to scrap and I'll give you info about that later as I go along probably keep that nice tap but there's going to be plenty of nice old taps in here guys plenty of nice stuff that I won't scrap so we'll start on that one tomorrow as well and I'm separating all the buckets like copper wire aluminium unsure about these guys you let me know what do you reckon are these aluminium I'm thinking they might be lead the old lead soft drink screw tops so just tell you thinking these might be made, made out of lead but anyway let me know if you know otherwise I'm putting them in the aluminium bucket copper in here and lead um, I'm thinking about also the sheets of lead like this guys keeping these could sell those at the markets for fishing sinkers but otherwise toothpaste lead toothpaste containers and other bits of lead in here I just emptied a bucket guys there's heaps of brass in there I think so we'll go through that as well and we'll sort out all this stuff in tomorrow aluminium the there but I've got to put in the back of the uh, truck and stainless steel here so here's all the other things I did a couple of days ago and just a little bit of stainless steel I did today so just got to finish off those stainless steel sinks guys and then fit it all in the back of my trailer so I think we're going to fit it all guys won't be a problem otherwise I'll just hop on those stainless sinks and fit them in as um, squash them down guys, as best I still got to do these ones too I'm still yet to get my land cruiser going guys haven't been just been too busy to get it going so That'll be one of the last things I do. And this is all the um, stuff or bits and pieces, guys, that I've cut up off, off cuts and stuff. What I thought was stainless steel, brass or copper, and it's ended up being attracted to magnets. So not really too much waste, believe it or not. I thought, you know, there'd be heaps, but it's not really too much, which is great. So we'll take most of this stuff out the rubbish dump and offload it there, and that will get put into landfill all right guys well that's basically about it so a couple more days to go probably two or three more days to go and hopefully we can get it all done and then head up to the city and hopefully make enough money to pay my mortgage which i expect we will and hopefully be nice to have a bit more left over for christmas presents and crap like that so or to pay just the, some more bills all right guys well, I've got to cover this up so Sophie doesn't chew up my stuff. And that's about it. And just a little bit of brass and stuff in here I've got to sort out, guys. So, still a fair, fair bit of stuff to do, guys, but not as stressed as um, what it has been, you know. So, all the hard stuff's done, basically. So, that's great. Just those little bits and pieces there. And like I said, that big long table full of heaps of stuff. Treasure. Heaps of scrap, too. And... Who knows what else? Alright guys, gotta watch Sophie, she's looking for a bobtail lizard. Alright, see you guys. Bye.